Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read Wayside School is Falling Down by Lewis Sakar, Chapter 27. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. Chapter 27, Lost and Found. Joy and Mauricia were best friends. They sat down on the grass to eat their lunches, but then Mauricia remembered she needed chocolate milk. She went to get some from Miss Mush. When she returned, she couldn't find her lunch. What happened to my lunch? she asked. Joy looked up at her, then shrugged her shoulders. I set my lunch down right here, said Mauricia. You saw me, didn't you? Joy shook her head. I put it here. Then I went to Miss Mush's room to get some chocolate milk. I had a peanut butter and banana sandwich. And there's no way I can eat a peanut butter and banana sandwich without chocolate milk. Joy shrugged her shoulders. Mauricia didn't know what to do. Can I have a sip of your milk? asked Joy. It was hard for Joy to talk because her mouth was full of peanut butter and bananas. Mauricia handed Joy the carton of chocolate milk. Joy took a big drink, then swallowed. Mauricia looked all around for her lunch. She crawled in the dirt as she searched through the bushes. Any luck? asked Joy as she finished Mauricia's chocolate milk. I found it, Mauricia exclaimed. Joy coughed on the chocolate milk. You did? she asked, then coughed again. Mauricia crawled out of the bushes holding a paper sack. She sat back down next to Joy and opened it. Is it your lunch? asked Joy. No, said Mauricia. Too bad, said Joy. It's money, exclaimed Mauricia. Joy's eyes nearly popped out of her head as she looked at the paper bag. It was stuffed with dollar bills, and they weren't just one dollar bills. There were a few five dollar bills, some ten dollar bills, but mostly twenty dollar bills. We found a million dollars, Joy whispered. We? asked Mauricia. They counted the money. It wasn't a million dollars. It was twenty thousand six hundred and fifty-five dollars. Let's split it, said Joy. You take half and I'll take half. Maybe I should show it to Louis, said Mauricia. Louis, exclaimed Joy, are you crazy? Let's spend it. We can buy a skateboard or a bicycle or a horse or a fancy car or an airplane. I like taking the bus, said Mauricia. You could buy ice cream, said Joy. All the ice cream you ever wanted for the rest of your life. She knew Mauricia loved ice cream more than anything else in the world. Mauricia smiled as she thought about it. No, I better show it to Louis. He'll know what to do. He'll just get in trouble, warned Joy. Louis will think you robbed a bank. You'll go to jail for the rest of your life. Louis knows I'm not a bank robber, said Mauricia. But what if the real bank robbers find out you have their money? asked Joy. They'll come after you and murder you. Oh, I didn't think of that, said Mauricia. You better give it to me, said Joy. Louis will protect me, said Mauricia. She walked across the playground. Louis was talking to Terrence. He said, if you ever tie Leslie's pigtails to the tetherball pole again, I'll... Louis, look, said Mauricia. She held the paper sack up to his face. No, thank you, Mauricia. I'm not hungry, said Louis. It's not my lunch, said Mauricia. Look inside. Louis took the bag from her and looked inside. Very nice, he said. Then he gave it back to her. Now I want you to go untie Leslie and tell her. He suddenly stopped talking and blinked his eyes. He looked at Terrence, then at Mauricia, then at Terrence, then at Mauricia, and then at the paper sack. Let me see that again, he said. Mauricia gave him the bag. Hey, what about me? asked Terence. Get lost, Jack Frost, said Lewis. Terence ran away. Did you rob a bank? asked Lewis. No, I found it in the bushes, said Mauricia. I believe you, said Lewis. We'll have to put it in the lost and found. I know, said Mauricia. Whoever lost it is probably very sad. But if no one claims it in two weeks, you can have it, said Lewis. He took the bag of money and headed to the office. 
Joy was waiting for Louis at the door. Hey, Louis, she said. I lost a bag full of money. Have you seen it? Help! Leslie screamed from the tetherball court. A week later, Mauricio was eating lunch alone. She was eating a piece of sweet potato pie. Joy was crawling around in the dirt looking for more bags of money. Mauricia, said Louis, I'd like you to meet someone. This is Mr. Finch. Mr. Finch was an old man with white hair and a long white beard. He shook Mauricia's hand with both of his hands. It's your money, isn't it? asked Mauricia. Mr. Finch nodded. It was my life savings, he said. For fifty years I made pencils. I got a penny for every pencil I made. I hate pencils. But finally, I saved enough money to quit my job and do what I always wanted to do. What's that? asked Mauricia. I'm going to open my own ice cream parlor, he said, then started to cry. When I lost that money, I thought I'd have to start making pencils again. Mauricia cried too. Here, I want you to have this, blubbered Mr. Finch. He gave her an envelope containing $500. It was the second largest amount of money Mauricia had ever had. And I will give you free ice cream for the rest of your life at my ice cream parlor, he promised. Thank you, said Mauricia. No, thank you, said Mr. Finch. I'm so glad someone as kind and as honest as you found it. There are so many dishonest people in the world. It's good to know there are still good people, too. They hugged each other. Joy crawled out of the bushes. Hey, who's that, she asked. This is Mr. Finch, said Mauricia. It's his money. Look, he gave me a reward of $500, and I'll get free ice cream for the rest of my life. Well, what about me? Joy demanded. Don't I get anything? Oh, dear me, said Mr. Finch. I didn't realize there was someone else involved. Mauricia would never have found the money if it wasn't for me, said Joy. Why, what did you do? asked Louis. I stole her lunch, Joy said proudly. Mr. Finch gave her a pencil. The end. Thanks for joining me for chapter 27. Please check back for chapter 28. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. I hope you join me next time. Bye.